Dear brothers and sisters, greetings of peace and joy. Today, we continue our Lenten journey reflecting on the symbol tongue, which is very favorite and essential to all of us. If I am able to speak to you today about this symbol, it is because of this very tongue. Generally speaking, we all know the main function of tongue is to speak and to taste. Biblically, we can understand tongue in five ways. First, tongue is identified with a physical organ. It is a fleshy organ found in the mouth of human being. In the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 7, verse 33, we see Jesus takes the person sideways and touches his tongue in order to give him the healing. Second, tongue also can be understood as an instrument of speech, language, a tool to spread, first of all, the good news, a tool to speak out whether good or bad. The etymological word for tongue in Greek is glossolaria, which means language, to speak, talk, chat, etc. We can see in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 4, all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and started speaking in different languages. Acts of the Apostles also refers tongue as a gift to speak the mighty works of God. Third, tongue is one of the five important sensory organs. We use this tongue to taste to know the flavor about the food that we receive. In Psalm number 34, verse 8, we read, Taste and see how good the Lord is. Fourth, the tongue has figurative connotations in the scriptures. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 15, we read that God will destroy the tongue of the sea of the Egypt. Here, Tongue is referred to the gulf or bay of the sea. Acts chapter 2 verse 3, we see divided tongues as of fire appeared on the apostles. Here, tongue is spoken as a sign of the Holy Spirit. In the book of Sirach chapter 32 verse 8, it is spoken as sign of silence. To hold one's tongue means be brief as one who knows and can still control his tongue. In the scripture, tongue is also spoken with the negative references. In Sirach chapter 5, verse 14, we read, Do not be called double tongues or lay traps from your tongue. Here, reference is made to a liar. In Job chapter 20, verse 12, tongue is spoken as a shelter of wickedness. St. James, in his letter, chapter 3, gives a discourse about the tongue and calls tongue as a small member, but it creates a great fire and in it there is a world of unrighteousness. It stains whole body and no one can tame the tongue, a restless, evil, deadly poison. Dear friends, from the biblical point of view, we can understand the tongue as both filled with goodness and evil. In a simple way, tongue as a physical organ, as sign of language, figuratively used, is a powerful weapon which can make a relationship or break a relationship. It can build a family or it can destroy a family. It can build a society or can destroy it. Our tongues can be filled with truth or can be filled with falsehood. The false accusation from the tongue of the scribes and the Pharisees resulted in the death of Jesus. But the forgiving words from the tongue of Jesus changed the people and brought new life to all. The choice is ours.